From our wiki page, you can directly open the notebook into Google Colab by clicking onto the Open in Colab badge. You can save a copy of the notebook into your Google Drive by clicking on Save a copy in Drive. The copy is automatically saved in your Google Drive. In order to obtain example training dataset, you can follow the link provided on our wiki page and go to the Zenodo page where you'll find plenty of information about the dataset. This allows you to directly download the dataset to your computer. On your Google Drive, you will find a copy of the notebook in the Colab Notebooks folder. You can upload the training dataset and any other dataset on your Google Drive by clicking New and then Folder Upload. Please ensure that all the data has been uploaded properly. Before you run the notebook, you can first of all clear all the output from previous usage. First, let's check whether we have GPU access. We have now been allocated a GPU and we can check the device type. Now let's mount our Google Drive to this particular notebook. For this, you will need to give the notebook access to your Google Drive. After mounting your drive, you can find the content of your Google Drive on the File tab on the left of the page, including all the training dataset previously uploaded. Now, let's install Stardist and its dependencies. The next step is to set the location of the folders where the training dataset lies and then set the training parameters. You can get the local path to your training folders by right-clicking onto the folder of interest and then copy path. Then, choose where your model will be saved. Don't forget to run the cell. The next stage is to create the model and the dataset objects. You can check that the training dataset has been loaded properly. Then we can start the training. This step can take minutes to hours depending on the network and the training parameters. The next section allows you to perform quality control on the trained model. We will choose to perform the quality control on the currently trained model. The first step of quality control is to assess the evolution of the training loss over epoch number. The loss curves show a gradual improvement of the loss function over time without a significant deviation between training loss and validation loss. The next step is to compare the model prediction to the ground truth target from the test dataset. The notebook provides a quantitative assessment of the model performance using common metrics such as structural similarity or intersection over union. Different networks use different metrics. We are now ready to use the model on unseen dataset. To do so, select the folder that contains the data that you wish to analyze and select the folder where your predictions will be saved. we will be using the model that we have just saved. If a different model should be used, you can select the model name and the model path right here. Now, run your predictions. Your predictions will be automatically saved in the prediction folder. The model will show you an example output. You can now download your data from your Google Drive.